so I'm getting ready to go today, right? and uh, start shaving my face. I use an electric razor, they're the bomb. These guys right here, this one's for trimming and this one's for like the, the clean shave. And I was doing a clean shave and it ran out of batteries. So I'm like clean shaved here, I got a little bit of stubble here, I'm like dirty over here, it's terrible. <laughs> it's brutal and I'm gonna show the world. Cool, we got a big day today and I'm really excited to progress with this day. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. First things first, I'm gonna eat this beautiful bowl of fruit right here and obviously drink this coffee. I've got my measurements ready to go for the wood that we need to get cut so that we can raise up the Ninjago district and also have a spare piece for our underwater area. Unfortunately none of the wood here in Brixie's lumber yard is going to work for us because those big sheets of plywood are pretty flimsy and I don't really trust them they're gonna bow, as you can see, they're already bowing. I wanna get some malamine cut, like these shelves, nice and thick and sturdy. And then actually, I already have the legs cut right here. Let's go see how these legs will line up with the uh, height of our trains. I'm pretty sure they will work. This little guy right here is essentially our largest train or tallest train. And let's see here. Oh, wow. Yep, easy peasy. That's gonna work for sure. And it's also gonna leave us more room for, I don't know, whatever we wanna put underneath the platform. It seems like I always need to have tools here on the stairs. Hey, once we're done the wall, I'm probably gonna have enough bricks left over so that we can build the fronts of our stairs using Lego. Because remember, I'm going to put fronts of all different colors of Lego going all the way up and then we're gonna use this flooring that I have left over to do the top of the stairs and just put like a edging on the front. Actually, it wouldn't really be that hard because this flooring that I have comes in three foot pieces. So one piece is three feet and these stairs are three feet. The hard part is, is I've gotta cut one in half longwise, but that'll actually be fairly simple because the cut part of it, I'll just put underneath the Lego, but that's definitely got to be added to the whiteboard. Perfect. So hopefully my shaver is charging up nicely there so I can leave the house. I don't know if I want to leave like this. <laughs> uh, so we're going to work on that project today. We're going to have more depth, in-depth details on uh, raising up the Ninjago City area, that, that little water mountain edge, whatever you want to call it over here on uh, a Brixie vlog as well. Um, but yeah, we better eat, head on out to the hardware store, get our wood cut, get back here, implement that all quickly because we have a members only live stream starting at five o'clock today, it's Tuesday. Cool, that's where we Zoom chat, so it's pretty sweet to talk to, talk to all of our uh, members, which is pretty fun. And I can't wait to show them the changes that we make. All cleaned up, ready to go? Well. Actually, I gotta shovel the snow first. So just the other day, I listed all that stuff on my BrickLink store, right? And, you know, I'm at West Summit Mall to find some boxes. Because I think if I list it all on there, it's probably gonna sell and I may as well be prepared. I'll take it for free. It saves me a whack of time, a whack of money, because the boxes are free. <laughs> I don't see why, and there's, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's beauty. Hey, look what else I found. Some bubble stuff. Now I can pack BrickLink orders. And look at this, it's like a brand new shipping box. It's perfect. All right, now we're ready to ship some BrickLink orders. And the convenient thing is, is I have to go to my PO box, which is right around here. So it's not like I have to make a special trip to come do this, but you know, it just makes sense to do this. Let's head to the PO box and see if there's anything there. Hey, we got one here. It says Citizen Brick on the tape. That's pretty fancy tape. That's pretty cool. Check this out. Ah! Next stop, the Home Depot. I swear my car just like turned. It just turned and now we're going to Toys R Us. I, I, I don't know, I was driving and all of a sudden this car just started just right towards Toys R Us. I couldn't believe it. God, it's cold out here. It's so cold, my hands. Just kidding, it's, it's pretty cold though. <laughs> I'll live with it. Let's, let's go in here, let's see what's up. Let's see if there's any deals on. Last time we were here was Star Wars. 
And from what I see, unfortunately, there are no deals to be had here this week. I don't know. You never know, though, right? It's always worth the stop, especially when you're at the Home Depot. I got to get this. I got to get this. <laughs> I need this. I need this set for the beach. I'll do the primary build. Looks like it opens up or something. Yeah, yeah, see, oops, yeah, see, right there above that uh, dolphin and surfer dude, it opens up. I actually like the look of it, though. It looks pretty complete when it's closed like that. I will get this one day, 564 pieces, 69.94. I'll have to get that from the Lego store. Maybe when we go to the Lego store on February 1st, because on February 1st, uh, there's going to be blacksmith coming out. Oh my gosh, check this out. Look at this thing. Just want to get that. Look at the falcon. It's pretty cool. Let's not say we did though. That's that's the way to do it. Yeah, I guess no dealios here. Now we're going to head to uh, Home Depot and get that wood that we need. Don't uh, see anything outstanding here. I do see some of the new city stuff though, including the new skate park. Oh well, on to the next destination. So would this pinata be fun to hang in the Lego room somewhere? It's a Lego brick pinata. Comment below if you think I should get the Lego brick pinata, or if not, then not. I'm sort of on the fence, you know, we could we could put a fancy Lego set in the Lego room, or we could put a Lego pinata. Okay, so there's a few different ways that we could do this. We could use chipboard. Chipboard, I like it. It stays flat. As you can see, the stack is perfectly flat. It doesn't warp, it doesn't bend. It's beauty. And that's about $32. We could also use plywood. The same size of plywood is uh, $31 a sheet. I think plywood works too. It looks better, it's cleaner. Sometimes it can warp. But I think the best solution is gonna be malamine. And I'll show you where that is right now here in the wood or lumber yard. So here in this aisle, we have even more lumber. And this is where we're gonna find our large sheets of malamine. So right here, you can see some, it's $44.74 for 5 8 malamine or 16 millimeter. Where over here, we have the half inch or 12.5 millimeter. And you know what? This is gonna be uh, the way we're gonna go because this wood here is gonna match our Ikea tables and also all of our Ikea shelving units such as the billies and the packs. And it's gonna look way better. So we're gonna get this cut to the proper dimensions. This is a little bit more money than plywood, but looks a lot better. So technically speaking, with this stuff here, you can actually build your own custom tables. You don't have to buy the ones from Ikea. What you do is you make a two by four frame if you wanted. And then what you could do is use the same table legs from Ikea that I use, the Adils or the Olavs, depending on what height you wanted to use or go with. And then you just screw them into these and those legs will work perfectly they're like five bucks each right now one thing when you have when you screw legs into these you just got to put a wood block uh, under the legs so the leg screw has more to screw into but it works perfectly and then you can customize your tables and make them fit perfectly into your room now i'm just heading to the saw here and we're going to get this cut to size so here we go now we're getting ready to check out we got all this stuff cut and it's actually very little waste uh, the largest one on the bottom here is going to be our Ninjago platform. That's 25 inches by 60 inches long. Then we also have a second piece here which is 20 inches by 60 inches long. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but we could definitely do something pretty cool with it. And then our last one right here is actually 49 inches by, oh geez, I can't remember, 35 inches. So five base plates by three and a half base plates and that's going to be our deep sea area we also need some dog food and of course PetSmart does not sell the dog food that i am looking for i should get luna a new cat post though hers is looking pretty rough it's pretty snazzy it's like the same one but 
brand new. Look at the way that bird is just chilling. That doesn't look comfortable whatsoever. I just feel bad for these guys. You know, they want to do some flying around. That guy's just chilling in his food bowl. And because I'm out and about, I'm gonna go to the real Canadian Superstore because I just ran out of Molson. Every single time I get out of my car, I forget my mask. I'm still, I'm still forgetting every time. It's ridiculous. It sucks to be Canadian. I think beer's a lot cheaper in the United States. 36 for 55.99. Ugh. I do like my Kraken as well, and we are uh, out of rum. These are generally the two staples that I have in my house. Like, I don't go crazy, and I'm sure you guys all know that, but I'll have like one or two every couple of days, and it's not the end of the world. It's just a way to relieve the tension, you know, and just sort of cool down for the night. May as well get some cheap gas while I'm here too. Jeez, I don't like leaving the house. This is crazy. That's what I don't understand. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Alberta is essentially the Can Canadian uh, leading oil province, right? Why is gas 106.9? per liter when oil is so cheap. It just doesn't make sense, it's outrageous. Per liter, not per gallon. Per liter, 106.9, 100, like a dollar, a dollar a liter. This is oil country, baby. The Edmonton Oilers. Jeepers, Edmonton gas gougers, they have nothing to do with oil prices, Jordan. Keep down, keep calm, keep calm. <laughs> the darn dog food cut me. I gotta clean my car, this is atrocious. It's, it's the snow, I blame the snow. Got the wood in the garage, so we're ready to start building the platform, beauty. Got the table made and I'm ready to move it into the basement. Look at this, it's already serving a great purpose. A little bit of a door jam, perfect. Good job, Molson Canadian. It's dangerous business, guys. Sliding these sets around, maybe as well capture it on video. This one's the easy guy right here. Oh, Ninjago City Docks. This little guy right here, though, I don't know. This guy's a bit scary at times. Smart guy would deconstruct it when he's moving it. Not Brixie. Ah. Done! Look at that! Ninjago City! Lego City update, all done! I don't know what to do. It's, it's pretty tall, actually. But, you know, like, trains are pretty tall, too, right? I mean, now we can put, like, tunnel. We can afford to build tunnel around it and stuff. And, I don't know, bat cave in there and be like, hello, Bruce Wayne, hello. Looks pretty good, though. Good thing I'm just done for the, for the day. Just kidding. I'm going to continue working on this and do more details and stuff. Our uh, members-only live stream starts in... 45 minutes or so? Yeah. I was out shopping longer than expected and had an unexpected phone call that took a longer, like had a very important phone call that took about an hour or so. Uh, we've gobbled up some time here in the day, but I'm excited for the members only live stream. But just finished using our drill on this bad boy over here and we got our screws all inset and it's looking pretty good. Uh, now I'm actually looking to download Zoom so that when we do our members only live streams, I'm gonna have it right on my computer and then we can patch the computer screen that I look at to everybody on YouTube. So that's going to be a learning lesson here, as always. I left myself with 12 minutes to figure that out, figure that out, grab a bite to eat, and get some coffee. So no time to spare. Bye. So a little bit of a change of action here. And everything is a disaster. Hmm. Looks good, though. Well, holy smokes. This night took a real right turn there. The city's a disaster. But you know what? It's gonna turn out even better than what it looks like now. It's about 10.15, haven't eaten yet. Live stream with the members from five until 10. Epic live stream. Love talking with you guys, it's beauty. Uh, got a heck of a mess here. Yeah. Destroyed. Also got a new plan to essentially redo the entire city and give it a new look, so wild. More on that on Brixie. I'm sure you guys know that. This is more of just me vlogging. 
pretty nuts. <laughs> I'm going to eat some dinner while editing videos and probably crack one of those Molson Canadians because it's been a night. Jose's bringing me dinner right now because she's awesome. Let's see what it is. I don't even know. Smells good. My boy Tico is scared to go up on his own. Look. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. Go for it, dude. Go for it. There you go, buddy. Oh, he was so scared. Oh. <laughs> so that essentially wraps up another strange Lego day. You know, we had full intentions to go to Home Depot and get the wood and make the platform, which we successfully did. And after meeting with my members, we came up with a pretty cool plan to change the direction of the downtown core of the Lego City. So that's why I call it strange, because nothing goes as planned. And that's the really cool thing about Lego Cities, is you get all these sets and you can rearrange them in endless amounts of combinations of ways of doing it, I guess. Like, it's, it's actually crazy. It's a lot of fun. I got a lot of work ahead of me today. Well, not today, because it's night, but tomorrow. Jeez, it's it's an absolute disaster in here. What else did we do? We got some gas. That was good. We hit up the uh, the old uh, liquor store there. Also, uh, got some dog food. Went to the P.O. box. Can't even remember. Oh, yeah, we got some cardboard boxes for our Bricklink orders and stuff like that. Pretty successful day, I'd say. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.